Hi guys, back in uh, Galloway this time, doing a radio video. Uh, as you can uh, see, we're back on the farm. This is the, uh, the same farm that we camped on when we did the uh, the camp, but this time we're uh, in the cottage, as uh, you can see behind me there. So I just wanted to show you the uh, the antennas and things that I brought up uh, to use uh, while we're away here. So I'll, uh, I'll give you a view of the uh, the countryside around us, what we're looking at, uh, and then I'll uh, I'll show you the uh, the radio gear. So this is the uh, the view we've got from the cottage, and as you can see, it is absolutely stunning round here. It's a little uh, little visitor again. This is Shinga the farm dog. He comes up and uh, visits us while we're uh, staying here. So I have the pole for the uh, vertical HF antenna. That is a seven meter, no six meter rose pole. Um, got the uh, ballon on it there. And somewhere around here, there we go. That is a five meter wire attached to the pole from a vertical antenna. Got uh, another five meter wire here for a, a counterpoise, which uh, just runs along the wall. It's just traps at the end there with a rock to stop it. Uh, Stop it coming off. And over here we have uh, the X30 mounted on um, a decorator's extension pole. This is uh, an aluminium pole. It folds down to about one metre long, opens up to about three metres. Got the X30 on there. Um, it's extended. So within about six inches of its full extension on each section. Um, you can possibly hear it does get a little bit drafty around here sometimes. The camera's probably uh, picking it up there. So that's uh, that, that's what we're using using as antennas. It's got that strap to uh, a handy fence post there. Coax runs along the wall. Comes that side of the wall, tucked into the uh, stones. Past the dog. Up through the gutter in, and uh, in through the front window there. So I'll take you inside and, and show you the uh, the radio kit that we've got set up in there. So here we are in the. Uh, Temporary shack. We've got the 897 set up there. That's, uh, various handies and things there. Uh, that one's actually monitoring GB3DG at the moment, which, uh, if you can actually see it with the camera, I'm not too sure, is uh, it's on that hill there, just over the way. So we get uh, good re good reception from GB3DG. Uh, we can also get the uh, Isle of Man and uh, Northern Ireland repeaters from here without any bother at all. Simplex is a little bit limited, but uh, I'll just show you the uh, the signals that I'm getting off the Isle of Man and. Uh, that's the one. That's the other man on Snave Fell. Two mic zero Delta India Juliet checking access GB3 India mic. As you can see there, virtually uh, virtually full scale. And uh, DG. That's the two mic zero Delta India Juliet checking access GB3 DG. 
obviously that's full scale because you can see it from here. We have a Northern Irelander pizza in, uh, in Belfast. Two Mike Zero Delta India Juliet checking access into uh, GB3NI. As you can see, I've got a good signal from that one as well here. Have a look at HF and see what we can do with that. Yeah, it's Mike 3 November Whiskey Delta. Yeah, name is Andy, Alpha November Delta Yankee. Yeah, you can have a signal 5, signal 3 to 5. I'm located in Norfolk, East Anglia. Back to you. Yeah, all received on that. So, yeah, I've got you about 7 this end, a 7, 5 and 7. Uh, into Creton, Southern Scotland. QSL, QSL, yeah, loud and clear. Five and eight, five and eight. This way into uh, Southern Scotland, over. Uh, well, 7-3, thank you for bringing me into the conversation there. You have a good evening, and hopefully I will speak to you again further down the log. 2, Mike, 0, Delta, India, Juliet, going clear of the frequency. 7-3. Seventy three, you have a good week. We're clear. Thank <laughs> you.